In this tabletop review, we're going to be taking a look at a product made by Wheeler. This is their trigger pull scale, that's what they call it. It basically measures how much pull weight you have on a trigger, whether it be a pistol or a uh, rifle. Um, and you see this is typical uh, Wheeler POP packaging here, this little deal. Um, this runs for about $20, so this is a, a very reasonable price for a tool to measure uh, your trigger pull weight. Now this isn't a digital um, tool, this is analog, but I found in testing of other analog types of tools of this nature, they are pretty accurate. Um, they're not off compared to the more expensive ones by very much. So. Um, for $20, this is a great buy, something you can add to your toolbox if you're working on uh, pistols and rifles and you're changing out triggers and trigger springs and hammer springs and you want to measure what kind of a pull weight you've got after those types of modifications, this is a great tool to have. Now this will measure uh, a pull weight from 8 ounces up to 8 pounds. Uh, let's see what Wheeler has to say about this. Um, uh, measures in two ounce increments. It's accurate to plus or minus two ounces. And I believe that that is an accurate statement. I've noticed the digital ones are a little bit more accurate than these analog ones, but not by much. It might be an ounce or so off. So uh, let's see. The weight of this item is 3.35 pounds, so not don't know why that's important. Um, there's a whole bunch of use instructions here. Let me go ahead and kick this out of the packaging and let's take actually take a look at the tool. packaging apart. And here's the tool and the instructions which are in multiple languages. Make sure your firearm is unloaded, blah 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 and blah blah blah. Typical safety stuff. So what do we got here with this tool? Um, this is plastic. You can see it's kind of got this little handle right here where um, it's grooved to put a couple of your fingers. And you can see this, the measurement uh, guide here is just a sticker. I hope whoever put the sticker on wasn't, um, wasn't on crack um, during, during that time. Um, what I'm looking at, uh, you just got you just gotta love stuff like this. Um, at least I do. So we have a sticker here that needs to be put on correctly to measure a pull weight. And you can see how this kind of works. As we pull on this and this pops back, uh, it leaves this little yellow marker at a certain spot. So if I pull on this a little bit more, that would be you know, two pounds. Um, I believe that's how that's supposed to work. But if we slide this all the way back, you can see where it's supposed to start here. It's supposed to start from eight ounces. Well, <laughs> it doesn't really start at eight ounces. It starts before eight ounces. Um, so I hope the sticker's placed in the, in the right spot on this particular one. Uh, it would definitely help me for this review if I had another one of these. Unfortunately, this is the, the first one of these uh, trigger pull scales that I've purchased. Uh, I borrowed I borrowed these from other people for uh, different reasons, but of course I've had to always give them back. Um, but this one I now own. Uh, at some point in time when I get a chance, I'm going to compare this to some others to see how accurate this one is, or at least how accurate the placement of this sticker is. So anyway, um, moving on from that, um, we've got a metal shaft, um, we've got some sort of rubberized material right there. This is to protect your trigger and your lower receiver so you're not 
pulling metal on your trigger or your lower receiver. And you basically just pull on this and when your trigger when your trigger releases this pops back and your little marker is left and that tells you basically what your pull weight is. So we're going to demonstrate this or I'm going to try and demonstrate this on camera. Um, have my lower receiver here. I have a uh, hammer block guard in here um, so I can drop the hammer without having to worry about it slamming in the lower receiver. And everything is reset and I do believe we hook it like so and we just Pull on it and go back up to um, where this ends up being and you can see that that's a little over seven pounds and we're gonna do this more than once actually I'm going to align this since there's a little gap right down there at the bottom that I don't particularly like I'm going to align this right at the 8 ounce mark so we can start at 8 ounces. I'm going to try this again. Now this trigger, um, this trigger that I'm working on here, this is the uh, Bravo Company uh, PNT trigger. This should have a 6 pound give or take trigger pull. So. For this to, rate, to, to tell me seven pounds, um, uh, that would be kind of out of the ordinary. And we're at, it's still, still around seven pounds. So this, this particular trigger with these springs on it, since it's a, it's a fairly new trigger with uh, springs on it, I don't believe it's been broken in. Uh, I was kind of expecting it to be around six pounds, but it's coming in around uh, seven pounds. So that's how we use it on a rifle. Um, let me grab a pistol and we'll try it on a pistol as well. Okay, I've got my Ruger LCP Custom here, and we're going to test this Wheeler uh, pull scale on this pistol. According to Wheeler's instructions, um, you should do this three times to get an average reading. And um, that's uh, obviously that's because triggers may vary from pull to pull on what exactly the weight is. So you're going to want to do it a few times to get an idea of, of what the actual weight is. So let's, um, let's go ahead and give this a try. We'll do it three times. And this is basically how we're going to do it. That gives us in two ounce increments two, four, six, eight, ten, six pounds, ten ounces. Let's do it again. And that gives us 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 6 pounds, 14 ounces. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Six pounds, 10 ounces. So that kind of gives us an idea of uh, where our average pull weight is on the Ruger LCP. So that's going to pretty much wrap up this review of the Wheeler uh, Trigger Pull Scale. Um, this is an inexpensive item, but it um, will get the job done and give you an idea of what your pull weight is. If you're swapping out triggers or swapping out springs, best thing to do is to have this on hand. Measure your old trigger or your old springs first get an idea of what the average uh, pull weight is, then swap your parts out and uh, test it again, and that way you can uh, get an accurate reading or semi-accurate reading of what the differences are.